Hi, today I want to talk to you about preparing financially for an economic collapse. The first thing that you need to do is to get out of the dollar because the dollar is declining in value. It is being devalued because Ben Bernanke in the Federal Reserve is printing fiat money. That is money that is not backed up by gold. And so what it is is just paper with ink on it. And as he inflates the dollar, the dollar's value decreases. It becomes diluted. So you need to get out of the dollar. That includes IRAs, 401ks, mutual funds, money markets, CDs. If you have a big stash of cash in a savings account, get it out and put it in something else. Now, what do you put it in? I have a few suggestions. One is land, arable land. You can farm it, you can raise crops, and you can sell them. As long as you have a good water source, I think that will be a good investment. Secondly, rental properties. But you have to be able to buy a foreclosure, get it dirt cheap, be making a profit right away off of it, put down as little money as possible. You, uh, I would even look at owner financing before anything else. The next thing is bartering. If you don't have a lot of money, it might behoove you to invest it in ammunition, uh, medications, vitamins, something small that you can actually keep and store in your home that wouldn't take up a lot of space. But you remember you are going to set yourself up to be a target if your neighbors catch on that you have a stash of something that's uh, profitable, so you have to consider that. The third thing is precious metals. Precious metals are directly tied to the value of the dollar. So if the dollar were to decrease by 50%, precious metals would increase by 50% because it would therefore take twice as many dollars to purchase the same amount of precious metals. Now, my favorite is silver, and I buy silver rounds. The reason I buy silver is because it is actually outperforming gold. Gold is used mainly as money. It is stored. Very little is used for jewelry. But uh, silver is an industrial uh, metal. It, is, it has industrial applications. For example, we use it in cell phones and, and computers, refrigerators. And as China and India are increasing their wealth, they will be buying more and more of these things. And so silver will ap actually be used up. And there is a greater amount of above ground gold than there is silver right now. So supply and demand, the value of silver is going to increase. I buy my silver at APMEX, although there are several really reputable good companies out there. There's a website that actually compares all these internet precious metal dealers and they can give you the best price on that particular day that you're investigating um, for whatever silver rounds or gold or whatever. They'll, it'll tell you the um, precious metal dealer that offers the best value that day. You need to also check coinflation because that will tell you the exact amount of value per coin. You just plug in whatever coin, let's say it's a silver round, a buffalo silver round, and it'll give you its value. If you go to Kitco, K-I-T-C-O, the um, this site will show you the U.S. market and the Asian market, minute to minute, what the price is going for for silver and gold, platinum and palladium. So this is the homework you need to do to see where you want to invest, how much silver and gold you want to invest in, and the next question is, do I buy rounds, do I buy coins, do I buy newsmatics? Newsmatics is only for people that are collectors. This is not for investing. So don't call Goldline because they're thieves and they will rip you off and try to get you to, to invest in newsmatic coins, which is just a huge profit level for them, and stay away from that. If you're investing, I would suggest that you put a little aside for uh, a coin that is minted, only because if you end up bartering, this is a more recognizable coin. But the majority of my uh, precious metals is silver rounds, and the reason being is that Basically, dealers are interested in two things, the purity and the weight. And a silver round is just a coin that's been stamped with a pretty picture on it. 
and you only are concerned with its purity and its weight and they should they come in all different sizes but let's just say if you had one coin that was minted let's say an American Eagle you'll pay thirty dollars for example for that but if you buy the exact same of weight and purity in a round you might pay twenty five twenty four somewhere in that area so what, what it boils down to is a silver round it has the exact same purity the exact same weight as a minted coin minted coins are just more uh, recognizable so I my choice is rounds yours may not be but that's that's up to the individual go ahead and take your money out reinvest it do it as soon as possible because time is short we're looking at a window of maybe a year before the total collapse and it could be quite a bit sooner if Obama is reelected we could see a crash by Christmas so do your homework check it out if you have any questions just put it in comments and I'll be glad to respond you have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.